Are you ready to know the truth about dogs? I'm sorry, I tried to make that really dramatic. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, according to a new study published in Science, mm -hmm. uh, it suggests two different claims about the origin of domesticated dogs are both true simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Dogs first appeared about 15,000 years ago uh, before the advent of agriculture and mm. much of the hallmarks of civilization as we know it. It seems it's definitely happened in Eurasia mm -hmm. on the east side and the west side. Yep. And, and that explains why there are so many different like breeds of dogs, if you will. Because if you're saying that there's two different origins and that they've come together and interbreeded and da da da. You know, it just makes my three wolf moon shirt really confused. Well, there should be two wolves. Oh, yeah. Two wolves. Maybe or maybe there was a third. United under one moon. And <laughs> the third, well, okay. Basically, uh, the international team of researchers uh, led by the University of Oxford has shown that dogs emerged independently from two separate wolf populations that do have a common ancestor mm -hmm. beyond that. So maybe that could be your king oh, wolf number yeah. three. The missing link wolf. Sure. Um, and I played Twilight Princess. And a modern ancestor for wolves and dogs, uh, particularly. And a lot of this has been difficult mm -hmm. for researchers to figure out in terms of DNA al analysis involving modern dogs because so many of them, so many of their lines have merged into each other. Mm -hmm. So many dogs are descendants of both uh, East Eurasia and West Eurasia, which has been difficult to discern and definitely made it more difficult when extracting DNA and figuring that out all together. But it does seem that both of these claims are true. Right? Yeah. And no matter what, you just want to look it in the face and go, oh, you're a good puppy, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Uh, the Greenland sledge dog and the Siberian husky uh, appear to have mixed ancestry from both sides, which mm -hmm. makes them very hard to place. Um, but yeah, that that's, tends to be, when you reconstruct the past mm -hmm. uh, from modern DNA, it's kind of hard because of so much has happened between right. the past and now, yeah. so much changing, so much in adapting. intermixing, breeding, right? adapting. Not only that, it's because of the human influence as well. It wasn't something that naturally took its course. We got in and we're like, we want them shorter and fatter and cuter and pugger. Cuter, yeah. puglier. <laughs> puglier. Yeah, I mean, sometimes when you look at animals like the pug mm -hmm. and you go, you used to be a gray wolf. Right. It's it's difficult to even yes, it, it that did used to be a gray wolf yeah many 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 years ago right right even if you look as as far back as like a hundred years ago I think I saw a post on tumblr that's like this is what like a wiener dog used to look like and this is what <laughs> it looks like now what have you done humanity well I mean I'm a big fan of mutts personally yeah so I'm I'm okay with not uh, doing that in particular um, so basically humans in two very disparate geographical regions both came to the conclusion that these four-legged little things could be man's best friend. Oh, and who's that a good friendship dog? Friendship has endured forever. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're a good dog. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder how many people have looked at their dogs and seen, you know, the wolf audience. <laughs> huh? Have you? Have you seen the wolf inside? Audience, what do you see when you look in your dog's face? Is it a gray wolf or is it a dumb little? Uh. Let me know below in the comments and please like and subscribe for more.